Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. Well, today's the day. I'm really excited about the Magicycle Deer Mini. Um, I'm just, something about this bike really excites me. I think it's going to be an outstanding bike and I've really been looking forward to it. And let's stop talking and just dive into this box right here. Let's go. Alright, unlike the last bike that was already built ready to go, this one's going to need some attention. We expect that. Get some of this foam out of here. Oh yeah. Big little box here, says magic cycle, probably got some goodies in there. Yep, pedals, manual, charger, that sort of thing. Alright, looks like... Nice big chunks of foam. And we got. Ouch! Be careful of those guys. Boys, those those will get you. All right. Oh, they don't skimp on the packaging. That's real nice. They've got this thing. Look here. This is even. This is the first time I've seen this. But this is a uh, a double piece of cardboard right here on the end to help protect the forks and everything. Because oftentimes you'll get a box that's got the forks poking through. Uh, you know, a little bit, so they double walled it with this piece of cardboard down here just to add extra protection. I like that. All right, guys, here we go. Um, from here, we have a lot of zip ties to cut off, and it looks like pretty standard packaging with foam wrap all the way around. So far, everything looks good. Fifty-two volt magic power. Mm -mm. Look at that. That's nice. Got a port right here. I like that port. I like that cover. That's good quality there. Look at that. Even that's something new. I mean, look at the, the quality of that stand there. They've got in the forks to protect the forks. You know, they've got this, uh, sometimes you find just a steel bolt or something going between the forks to kind of hold them and keep them from spreading and getting damaged during shipping. But that one's got a nice big beefy, uh, you know, whatever it is. And But then you got this big old piece of plastic right here. Is, it acts as a foot to go all the way around. So it sits pretty stable when you set it down. Um, just a really super good job on packaging and normally I don't pay a whole lot of attention to packaging unless it's really poor Or if it's really good, but in this case It's just really good Okay, guys, first impressions is just amazing. I mean, um, the quality of this bike, of everything that I'm seeing right here, is just really super good. And I, again, just so excited about it. Um, yeah, I can't, I mean, I'm not going to get in and do a, a complete review or anything, but I was real happy that this is a dual suspension bike. That's why I purchased it, because I was looking for a good dual suspension bike. As you know, I like to go off trail. And when they announced this one recently, uh, it just was perfect. I mean, 52 volt. Large uh, 20 amp power battery, uh, you know, hydraulic brakes and suspension forks on the front, hydraulic brakes in the back, 750 motor. Um, what is this? This was like 96 newton meter of torque. Huge amount of torque from this bike, uh, which is going to be great for climbing hills and just getting out and having a good time. So, yeah, just everything. And look at this paint job. You know, I, I love the color white. 
but I like the the black accents I mean you got the battery cover here but you have the black accents on the bottom side of that down tube you got the black accents right here coming off of the uh, the seat post part of that um, down here you know you got the white and black where it says magicycle.com and it's just really cool how they did that so uh, yeah there's so many things about this that's just super super nice build quality seems really good um, the components are really good so there's just nothing to not like about this bike uh, and I can easily see now why they charge you know twenty five hundred dollars because it's just it's a good quality bike I, I can't wait to finish getting it built so we can get it on the road but first we got to get this battery out we got to get the battery on charge and then for you know setting things up here really all we got to do is uh, install the front tire and the front fender and the pedals so rear fender rear rack uh, lights are already there no we don't have a light on the front so i guess i still need to install a light on the front which is pretty typical too but uh yeah can't wait let's get it done Remove this battery, get this thing out of the way, make room for the next one. We need to tear in this box right here, see if we can find a charger, there's some pedals, there's the front light, there's a manual, here's a tool kit, and here's a 52 volt charger. see kind of kind of tool kits we have here tools we have here so we got a small little screwdriver wrenches and just the number of allen wrenches that we need not a full allen wrench set to get confused by looks like we have four four or five of them in here all right what are we going to need we're going to need that one probably for right there so big that one perfect Let's get these handlebars on because I don't like the way they dangle there. So that's nice. This is a quick release here for the uh, the front tire. So we just gotta unscrew that so we can get this little stand piece off. So now this should pop off. So that truly is just for shipping purposes, I guess. This seems like a really small axle. But it's inside there. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. We may not need those. Oh, we probably don't need those spacers either. So let's take these spacers off temporarily. And we're going to leave just the spring on the end. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, off camera I installed the pedals there and made sure things were tightened down and everything was snugged up and ready to go. And guys, I tell you, I love this bike. This is just an amazing bike. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, man, it's beautiful. One thing I see I'm going to have to do already is I am going to have to add a small riser because the handlebars are just a little low. So if you're a really tall person, you may need to rise, uh, raise up those handlebars a couple inches. But other than that, um, this bike is ready to be ridden and it's ready to be ridden hard and I plan to do that. So stick around for the next video where I'm gonna do the, the, some riding videos and uh, probably the full review video coming up here in just a few days. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and reach out to me. You're welcome to do that. I've already had people reaching out to me asking me about this bike because a lot of people are interested in it. So I'm um, really happy to answer any questions for you. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. So until the next one, which is going to come out real, real soon, uh, be safe.